actually this is the site which is developed by ministry of human resource development and uh, this is the virtual lab session so in this virtual lab session uh, today actually here also if you go uh, uh, there uh, in detail actually it has been mentioned you can find out the number of experiments also you can find out the theory for for the same experiment and uh, so this is the experiment in which uh, the objective of this experiment is to estimate dissolved oxygen level in the given water sample by uh, by winkler's method okay so i will just switch on the camera and i will uh, minimize this so that you will be able to see yeah so okay so is it visible screen is visible yes sir yeah so now i will explain you uh, the determination of dissolved oxygen in water so the objective of this particular experiment is uh, to estimate uh, do that is dissolved oxygen in the given sample given water sample so basically we will take the waste water sample and we will find out how much is the do even we can find out the for normal water as well so what are the apparatus that is bod bottle so this one is the bod bottle then pipette is there so this is a pipette then a conical flask is here and uh, beaker is also we need a beaker also and uh, uh, dropper also then a spatula is here okay so uh, once we proceed for the this particular exercise we, you will be able to see other instruments as well so we'll go step by step basically when uh, you are supposed to find out the dissolved oxygen uh, you you should uh, check or standardize the sodium thiosulfate which basically we are supposed to power into this particular uh, burette okay so first we should do that procedure so this is nothing but the standardization of sodium thiosulfate so when how can you standardize sodium thiosulfate for which actually the steps are given in the step number 1 uh, you should put this uh, funnel here and you can use this sodium thiosulfate definitely you should remove this nozzle and take this sodium thiosulfate in the burette through funnel you can observe actually this is uh, this will uh, this burette will get filled by sodium thiosulfate up to the level 0 here and once it gets filled up to the 0 then we can proceed for the next step so now we can uh, take this nozzle and cover up then remove this nozzle uh, remove this funnel then we'll go to the next step in the next step this is step number 3 take tail ml tail 10 ml of 0.025 normality potassium dichromate in a conical flask so this is a conical flask we'll remove this nozzle and uh, take potassium dichromate the quantity is mentioned so by using this pipette actually you can take so to take this particular sample you can use this knob button and once it is filled with then you are supposed to drop so to drop this particular potassium dichromate you can press here and then it will get dropped and that to 10 ml only and what is the normality of potassium dichromate it is 0.025 n and then close this potassium dichromate bottle go to the next step and here in the third step it is mentioned that add 2 ml of hydrochloric acid so uh, you are supposed to use uh, the pipette and by using which uh, before which you should remove this nozzle of hydrochloric acid Uh, you know actually uh, this uh, uh, to hand uh, this hydrochloric acid is very risky okay when you handle this hydrochloric acid uh, you should uh, take proper precautions and now uh, this 2 ml of hcl that is hydrochloric acid has been taken close this now and then you can put this 2 ml of hcl into this conical flask and uh, yeah now it will get dropped in the conical flask uh, next step is you are supposed to add the potassium iodide uh, in the conical flask by using this spatula just uh, use a single spatula and add in to this particular uh, conical flask so now it is added you can observe and the color is also changed and uh, it is asking us one question actually in between like uh, physically uh, though we don't get the opportunity to do the exercise but whatever we are doing virtually so in which uh, it is asking us what is the normality of potassium dichromate solution taken so can you tell me what is the 
normality they were given an option also so when we have started the experiment it was mentioned there what is the normality of potassium dichromate 0.025 yeah 0.025 yeah so this is correct answer okay we'll go to the next step and here actually uh, we have taken this particular conical flask where we have uh, taken uh, we have taken the uh, so, uh, sodium thiosulfate also so what we we are supposed to do here it is mentioned that titrate the sample against sodium thiosulfate add 2 ml of starch when the color of the solution changes to pale yellow and then continue the titration till blue color becomes colorless so what exactly you are supposed to do is you can titrate it titration we can start and uh, you can observe the color the color is changing to the pale yellow okay close the knob when the color of solution in the conical flask changes to the pale yellow and now you can add the starch so uh, starch they have just mentioned that you can add only 2 ml so take a 2 ml of starch <clears throat> and when you add 2 ml of starch the color will get changed to the blue you can observe this color now what you are supposed to do is when you do the titration then this color should be colorless okay whatever the blue color is appearing here so it should be colorless so till that time you can do the titration so now you should observe the color and the moment you get a colorless close the knob when the color of the solution changes to the colorless so now it is colorless okay and solution color turns which one after adding starch can you tell me just before we have observed by adding starch uh, what kind of color we got there there are the options blue sir yeah so we'll mention blue and this one is the correct answer and the next one here you can see the 9.9 .9 ml actually burette reading we got when we did the titration and uh, now the formula is also given so you can find out what is the normality of na2s2o3 that is sodium thiosulfate okay so normality of k2cr2o7 is given here that is 0.02 for you volume of k2 that is uh, potassium dichromate 10 ml and the volume of sodium thiosulfate is 9.9 .9. you can find out the normality of sodium thiosulfate so how can you find out normality of sodium thiosulfate here the n1v1 is equal to n2v2 uh, calculate and tell me that you know this n2 is normality of potassium dichromate v2 is volume of potassium dichromate so n2 into v2 multiply it n2 by into v2 how much it is So 0.02 for you. Multiply by 10, you will get 0.2 for you, and divided by V1. So how much is the V1? So V1 is given volume of sodium thiosulfate. So how much it is? 9.9. Na? So tell me what is the answer? 0.2 for you divided by 9.9. You should be fast, na? In calculation. Zero point zero two five. Zero point zero two five. So I will mention here, and zero two zero zero point zero two five. Okay. So you should note down this also because it is needed for further calculation. Now we are doing just a standardization of this sodium thiosulfate. Okay. So we got it is zero point zero two five, and we will check it also. yeah so it is right it is correct one and now we can go to the next step and that is actual experiment okay so whatever we have done so that these are all all preparation for doing the experiment now we will start the actual experiment okay so determination of dissolved oxygen so the first step we should do fill bod bottle with sample water up to the bottle brim so this bottle brim is here so up to this bottle brim we are supposed to fill this particular uh bod bottle so we should remove uh, first this knob then take uh, this test sample and add up to the brim of the bottle 
actually why i am showing this so that for other experiments you are supposed to follow the same and you will prepare the video created by you and then you will send it to me as an assignment for other other experiments so here it is asking us which of the following indicator is used during the titration so tell me which indicator we have used starch yeah starch indicator we have used so this one is the correct answer and the next step is step number 2 immediately add 2 ml of manganese sulfate that is mnso4 uh, solution to the bod bottle by inserting the atomic pipette so we have taken m uh, so uh, this manganese sulfate now remove this bo bottles now and add this manganese sulfate actually care should be taken to avoid the bubbles in the bod bottle now close this bod bottle go to the next step add 2 ml of alkali iodide alkali iodide is here so you can um, add alkali iodide remove knob of alkali iodide take just 2 ml of alkali iodide as i and you can add this to the uh, bod bottle so you remove this knob and simply add this alkali iodide as i this is the reagent so you can add you should add this care should be taken to avoid the bubbles in the bod bottle and then you can close this knob every time you should close this it should not be okay. it should not come into the contact of here then uh, mix the sample by inverting bod bottle several times and allow the precipitate to settle down at the bottom so now we are allowing the precipitate to settle down for few minutes so it is settling down actually same you will observe in the lab as well okay uh, maybe at the end of the semester if we get opportunity so within 2 3 days we'll do all these experiments what you are doing virtually but this virtual lab will give the idea at least what kind of chemicals we should use and how we can uh, find out so in this step number 5 actually by using this uh, pipette here you can squeeze this one so to squeeze this one you should put this click here and uh, then remove this nozzle uh, add h2so4 so you have taken h2so4 and you can add so how you can drop actually by using this one here you can press an add and then just close this bod bottle go to the next step actually here also you are supposed to mix the sample by inverting the bod bottle uh, till all the precipitate dissolves and then you can go to the next step so here take 200 ml of sample now our sample is ready so whatever the reagents whatever we are supposed to add we have added all these things and now we can take sample around 200 ml by using this pipette so same procedure you can take into the pipette and you can press here to just drop into the conical flask you can repeat it because we need a sample around 200 ml so you should measure this and you should drop you should take it in drop exactly as it achieve, it reaches to the 200 ml so now that it is 200 ml only so uh, you can put this funnel to the this burette and add sodium thiosulfate remove this nozzle and add this sodium thiosulfate to the burette so when it is uh, Mm, when we power this particular uh, sodium thiosulfate into the burette you can observe here actually so it is getting filled up up to the zero level then you can uh, close this uh, bottle with the knob and remove the funnel okay so it is very simple actually and through this you will learn the steps what exactly you are supposed to do now you can do the titration so how can you do the titration actually you can switch uh, you can just on this knob and close the knob when the color of the solution in the conical flask changes to the pale yellow so now you can observe the color is pale yellow add 1 ml of the starch so this is the starch just take 1 ml of the starch you can add this 1 ml of starch in the conical flask where there is the sample 
so initial so total quantity of sample is how much in the conical flask 200 ml no 200 ml was the sample and we have added 1 ml so the total is how much 201 ml okay 201 ml yeah so 201 ml is the total quantity of the sample is here in this conical flask now titrate this till it changes to the colorless from blue okay and then you can close this knob now it is colorless and how much reading we got 6.7 so now you are supposed to use this reading you can use the formula and find out the bod for first day that is nothing bod for the first day is do that is dissolve oxygen okay so here there is a formula by using which you can find out so uh, we'll check the formula so this is uh, sodium thiosulfate okay uh, so normality of sodium thiosulfate is how much uh you, every everything is given over here okay this is uh, no, uh, normality of sodium thiosulfate this v is the volume of sodium sodium thiosulfate volume of the sample is also given uh, do the calculation and let me know what is the result everything is given everything is here now you are supposed to use this reading and let me know the answer Two thousand six hundred and sixty. Sixty-seven. Sixty-six. So I will put what you are telling me. Okay. Two. So I don't know whether it's two thousand six hundred and sixty-six. Okay. So whatever you are telling, point, I have point. Huh? Yes. Six six six. Six point seven. Six seven. Yes. Okay. Yes, so I will check. Okay. I don't know whether it is right or wrong. So it is wrong. So why it is wrong? Can you tell me? Sir, two thousand six hundred and sixty-seven. Two. Okay, for me, is for ah uh, yes, two thousand six hundred sixty-six point six six. Okay, six six. So we'll check whether it has. Okay, so then also we are getting wrong reading. Actually, why? Sir, then now. Sir, two six six seven. Uh, hmm? Point zero two five. Right. So I will check the result. It is just eight point zero four. 